There is another Indiana community that now has concerns about the safety of their water tonight. Students and teachers in the Eastern Howard School Corporation in Greentown, just outside Kokomo, are not using tap water after testing found elevated levels of lead. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Mills says the fear is now spreading beyond the schools to others in that area. Well, students and staff here have been drinking bottled water for the last two days. The superintendent isn't sure how long that will continue, but he and others in the community aren't happy about it. This woman was buying bottled water for her dogs while the school district has been stocking up for its students and teachers. It, it does concern me because my kids go to school here. It's, it's kind of weird. No one really knew until a couple days ago and everybody's freaking out about it. The drinking fountains were bagged, the sinks covered after tests showed elevated levels of lead in the water. It's been a huge concern. Anytime you hear the word lead, it absolutely scares you. But Superintendent Tracy Cadell is also upset. I'm, I'm angry. These are our kids we're talking about. The district did the testing after learning the water utility had found elevated lead levels in some older homes last fall. I wish the town would have, came, would have come to us in October and said, hey, can we test your water? That didn't happen. Uh, so we determined we needed to do that on our own. They're also checking pipes, trying to determine the source of the lead. There was some good news Friday. The health department said it was safe to reopen school sinks for hand washing, the showers and pool as well. While the head of the water utility wasn't available Friday, I don't think it's a water company. I just think it's the, the lines that goes into the school. And I think it's just overblown. The superintendent predicts this whole water issue will wind up costing tens of thousands of dollars, even more if they have to replace a lot of pipes. And he said it shouldn't be the district that has to pay for it. In Greentown, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.